Hi guys, welcome back to Decorating Happily Ever After. I'm Jeffrey Kevin. Today, I've set a vintage chinoiserie tablescape. When I think of chinoiserie, it's usually very elegant with a black and gold color scheme. But I'm departing from that today by using a vintage colorful set of peach luster that features Asian scenes. I'm also using lots of teapots and nearly every color in the rainbow. So let's take a look around the table. For this tablescape, I'm pairing a tangerine tablecloth with a red silk table scarf. It features chinoiserie scenes embroidered in gold with moon gates. I'm going to use my red dinner plates today. Uh, these I picked up at Dollar Tree. I have blue dinner napkins. And I'm also using this collection of peach luster. They have red roof pagodas set on a little island with birds in the sky. For the glasses, I have these red ones with Asian women on them. I believe these are vintage barware. I'm also pairing with the set these pretty brightly colored peach luster um, teacup and saucers. They are bright orange on the outside with a yellow band and then the inside has the peach luster. I'm going to be using my chopsticks. And I have a sweet little place card holder. Guys, I believe I really did use every color of the rainbow this time. <laughs> uh, here for the centerpiece, this is one of my floral designs. Uh, I've used red orchids, and I have grasses and uh, green daisies. And I've also got berries that are coral and orange and red. And it's in a gold container. And on each side, I've used my food dogs. Those are one of my favorites. They wind up on most of my Asian themed tables. <laughs> but I'm also mixing other vintage peach luster items. Uh, these are a couple of vases that I have. This is one. It too has the little red pagoda on it. And I think I picked it up years ago, maybe at a flea market. I have a Chinese takeout. I guess it's a purse with a bamboo handle. This is one of my favorite little peach luster teapots. It's an elephant and he has a gold pagoda on his back. And here with it, I've paired these little uh, peach luster elephants. An antique dealer told me that they were occupied Japan, but I couldn't say. They don't have any markings on the bottom and I wouldn't trust this dealer any further than I could throw her. <laughs> but I think they're really sweet. I have these um, oriental coins. I suppose maybe these are paperweights. I've put a few of those on the table. And here at this end, I have this little dish. Uh, it came with a set of dishes. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, it's a little small for relish. It's a little big 
uh, for a salt cellar, but uh, it uh, came with a set and has the same little chinoiserie scenes on it. Mother found this set for me uh, at a thrift store, and she called me and told me that uh, they had a peach lustre set, and she said, you know those little houses with the roofs that turn up? And I said, you mean pagodas? She said, yeah. I said, uh, I definitely want them. I have several sets of peach luster wear. Uh, I have floral designs. I've got uh, the peach and blue. I've got peach and green. And this is the only set that I have that has little uh, pagodas on them. But now on these um, vintage sets, they're very breakable. Uh, you can crush the teacups with your hand. And so it's hard to find sets that are complete. I'm pairing these uh, orange cups with this set. They don't actually go with it. I'm sure there are cups out there that have the little pagodas on them that match this set, but I haven't been able to find any yet. But it's not too hard online. Uh, if you buy a set, you can get extra pieces because often these sets are not complete. And also, they were for tea and coffee uh, they really weren't used for dinner sets, so you won't ever see dinner plates. So that's why I've paired the dinner plate with them. But I've collected peach luster for a long time. It was one of the first things I started collecting. Here I've got some little Asian figures. And this little red silk box with the babies going around the edge. Pagoda. I think I found that one at Goodwill. And here on this end of the table, I had this sweet little umbrella box. I guess maybe it's a candy dish. I think we got that in an estate sale. And I have another little oriental vase. This one has a pagoda too, but it's a different shape from the other one, and it's Peach Luster. And I have another one of the little dishes that matches the set. And in lieu of the dinner bell, I have this little pagoda bell. I have the teapot that matches the set here. I've set it on a cake stand. I don't have the sugar and creamer, but I have since found one online, so I will have it before too long. <laughs> I'm using a Vaseline cake stand. This one, uh, it sort of looks like the button and bows pattern, but it's a reproduction. drum. My nephew found that for me in Goodwill. He came around the corner with it in his hand and said, Uncle, would this look good in the den? I said, oh yes it would. Put it in the buggy. <laughs> uh, so I always have enjoyed having that little, little piece. I pulled out several teapots, both new and vintage. This is not an old teapot, but I thought it was so sweet. Uh, it has the pagoda with its layered roof. I think we picked that up at a sale. Uh, there was someone who collected teapots and they were selling off their collection. Well, I think their relatives were. <laughs> and here at the back, I had these um, cigarette lighters. Uh, this is the Chinaman. He has a little tassel on his hat. And then I have an elephant with a pagoda on his back. I had an antique dealer bring those by my store one day. and I just had to have them. I don't smoke, but I thought they were really unusual. At this end of the table, I have one of the 
floral patterns. Uh, this too is peach luster and it has a floral scene on it. Um, I've got several patterns that have floral scenes. So you can mix and match. Uh, I've got solid plates that are in the peach luster trimmed in blue. I've got them peach luster trimmed in green and so you can pair different ones together. Here at this end of the table I've got my Mosier Vaseline cake stands. I have the cupcake stand on top with the cake stand on the bottom. These are reproductions but the old ones uh, will glow under a black light and I think it was the uranium but they don't put that in the menu more. However, I had an antique dealer check these and they did glow under a black light, so I don't know why. <laughs> I also have a biscuit jar. It's peach luster. Uh, it has, uh, I believe those are cherry blossoms on it. And it's a different pattern, but I've just blended in the various patterns. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe to my channel, Decorating Happily Ever After, and turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a video. I'm Jeffrey Kevin, hoping that you decorate happily ever after. Bye-bye now.